Hi everyone, welcome to the introductory video of Green Banao. I am Kushagra, I am IGBC AP and this is the first video in the video series in which we will be talking about how to make a building green. For more information you can visit www.greenbanao.com uh, IGBC is the first thing that we will be talking about. It's a rating system. It stands for Indian Green Building Council. There are several rating systems. IGBC is one of them. Uh, a green building is basically any building which is built sustainably and has uh, in mind all those features that do not hurt the environment. It includes your water efficiency, energy efficiency, uh, building a building sustainably, buying material resources carefully and sustainably and taking care of your indoor environment and air quality. The IGBC rating system aims to streamline all these steps and provide a definite guidance into how you can make a building green. There are several types of rating systems uh, given by IGBC. It is a very evolving kind of a rating system where IGBC keeps coming up with new rating systems as and when required according to the need of time. The latest rating system is the IGBC data center rating system after the Prime Minister's focus on making smart villages, IGBC is now also focusing on coming up with a village rating system which will be called the IGBC Green Village Rating System. So whether it is a small house or a president's uh, estate, there's a rating system for everyone. There's a rating system for you, there's a rating system for me, there's a rating system for the guy living in a village and using bullocks to plow his fields. So there's several rating systems. And the next thing is that how do we get our building IGBC certified? So to get a building IGBC certified, we'll have to register the building with IGBC. It's a very streamlined and online process. You can uh, register online. There's several details that you need to provide on the website. And there's a certain fee involved in order to register your building with IGBC. Once the building is registered, IGBC provides guidelines in the form of a guidebook and the book can be followed and once the project is complete, the documentation is submitted to IGBC for a certification. So uh, there are two, two things you can do once you decide to go for a green building certification by IGBC. You can either hire a green building consultant or you can do it by yourself. Both have its pros and cons. We'll be trying to help you out in this video series so that you can do a green building by yourself but then there's some pros of hiring a green building consultant and the others of doing it yourself so a green building consultant is essentially a person who's practicing in this field and whose bread and butter is IGBC consulting or green building consulting so he'll be definitely more uh, well versed with the kind of systems and the kind of documentation required uh, several of them are also accredited by IGBC and the exam is called IGBC AP. You can also look at pursuing the IGBC AP exam yourself. It's a fairly simple exam and uh, for more details you can again go to www.greenbanao.com. Uh, the several calculations and documentation involved and um, the consultant would know what kind of calculations are required in order to go ahead but then they're not very intricate they're not very intricate so you can uh, do them yourself once you have read the books thoroughly and understand the rating systems in a proper manner uh, benefits of doing it yourself are that you are a better judge of your sustainability needs so you can decide to pursue some of the uh, needs some of the guidances while you can choose to ignore the others and accordingly you can obtain a green building certification rather than being driven by a consultant. You can register the project and uh, obtain the certification at your own pace. You don't need to be governed by any external consultant. And um, it can be a great learning if you are doing wonderfully well in your field, you are doing something great and you want to enhance your domain expertise or try your hands in another field. It can be a good hobby, it can be a good learning experience if you want to try it out. Thank you for your attention, thank you for your time and we hope to get you back again in the next video which will talk about the IGBC registration process and how you can actually proceed with registering a process project with IGBC and for the green building.